We now know that COVID vaccines are now available in our country. We now have the Sinovac from China, and if not yet press available, the AstraZeneca Oxford will be available in the next few days. A lot of my patients are asking me whether they have to wait for the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines because they heard they're better in terms of efficacy. What then is the best COVID vaccine? COVID vaccines, whatever vaccines there are available, is actually very important now to help prevent us from getting COVID-19 infection. The vaccines are there to protect ourselves. It's very important that we get COVID vaccines to protect our family, and also because we want to protect our friends, specifically the community. So what COVID vaccine therefore is best for you? Do we have to wait for the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines, or we can get the Sinovac and the AstraZeneca Oxford? If you look at COVID-19 vaccine effectiveness and compare it with the usual vaccines that we're giving, specifically the flu vaccines. Remember, flu vaccines that we're giving yearly, it's not 100% or not even 90%. Some years, it's only 45% efficacy, and some years, it's up to 60. And yet, we give flu vaccine annually, specifically to our diabetic patients with the main goal of reducing our patient's risk to develop severe form of the flu resulting in pneumonia and hospitalization, including death. If you look closely at the COVID-19 vaccines and efficacy, it varies from 70% to 95%. We know that what's going to be available in our country is the AstraZeneca and of course the China Sinovac similar to the sign farm, which has around 60 to 80% efficacy. But how can you compare these different COVID vaccines? We know, I, I have already discussed in my previous videos about the Pfizer and the Moderna. This time, Oxford AstraZeneca, which through biotechnology is using a viral vector, is the same as Johnson & Johnson. Similar to the Sinovac, it is logistically feasible in our country because these two virus, meaning COVID-19 vaccines, can be stored in a usual refrigerator. And therefore, a refrigerated container with two to eight degrees centigrade is, in terms of logistics, very feasible in our country. Sinovac, in contrast to the viral vector of Oxford's AstraZeneca, it comes from a whole virus inactivated virus. It's true enough, if you're going to ask me, do we have to wait for the Pfizer or the Moderna instead of getting the Sinovac or the AstraZeneca? My answer is the same. Take whatever vaccine is available. Whatever vaccine that was given into your arm is better than none. If you look at the different efficacies between Astra and Sinovac, both are actually effective in preventing mild symptoms, around 50 to 60%. But what's important is both of these COVID-19 vaccines can prevent 100% of severe COVID-19 infection. Therefore, this is what we are. We want our patients to avoid hospitalization and eventually death. In contrast to Sinovac, Astra has been shown to be safe among the elderly. Sinovac does not mean that it is not effective among the elderly, but studies did not include patients above the age of 60. So if I have a diabetic patient beyond the age of 60, then I would advise to get the Astra vaccine. Some important facts regarding COVID-19 vaccine is that all of these vaccines are effective against severe COVID. 
Sinovac and AstraZeneca, which are available in our country, are both 100% effective against severe COVID-19 infection. And if you have this attitude that you want to wait for a better vaccine to come, remember, this attitude is not helping you lower your risk to get COVID. Remember, Sinovac and AstraZeneca is not 100% or 90% effective in preventing minor symptoms. And of course, I don't want to get vaccinated just to prevent minor sniffles. But I want to be vaccinated because I want to prevent severe disease and death. And all of these COVID-19 vaccines that we have at present, including the Sinovac and Astra, are effective in preventing serious and severe COVID illness. What's also important is that not a single vaccinated person has gotten sick enough to require hospitalization due to the vaccine. Second is that not one vaccinated person has died of COVID-19 infection due to the injection. Overall, therefore, COVID vaccines are safe. This will alleviate your fears that there may be some side effects. Minor side effects are common, injection site reactions like pain and swelling. And of course, as your body reacts to illicit and immune response, you may have some form of fever, fatigue, and joint pains, but they usually go away within two days. So the bottom line is, when we talk about infections, they are not created equal. If you are a vaccinated, a vaccinated person can still get infections, just like flu, just like COVID, but almost always they are mild. And the purpose of the vaccination is this. COVID vaccines work best on what matters. We want to prevent our patients from being hospitalized and to die from COVID-19 infections. Remember, diabetic patients and obese individuals are at highest risk of severe complications of COVID-19 when hospitalized. What's also very important is COVID vaccine not only prevents COVID-19 infection, but has also been shown to reduce transmission of infection. And therefore, it can help protect others who failed to mount enough immune response as a result of the vaccine. So remember, SARS-CoV-2 virus will continue to mutate as long as we continue to spread this virus among ourselves. Therefore, therefore, don't allow these viruses to spread further and replicate. It is our appeal to everyone, please do continue to wear a mask. Please continue to stay home and stay in your social bubble and always practice proper hand washing.